welcome back to another video on the Garage 533 YouTube channel. I'm Eric and this is a humongous eight and a half inch lifted 22 inch wheel mega cab Cummins turbo diesel Ram 2500 heavy duty truck that I'm gonna be detailing, doing some work on, doing some wrap on. Um, shout out to Danny. He is the owner. He hit me up and he was like, Hey, you know, he saw my ad thing, my post on Facebook and he was like, Hey, I need my roof wrapped. Um, and then also my little pillars on my doors wrapped. They're starting to fall apart. Um, and then we got to talking and he was like, yeah, like I'll get a detail, ceramic, uh, graphene coat, um, whole nine yards, you know. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to get these wheels clean, coated real nice, graphene coated inside and out. Um, get the outside of the truck graphene coated after we detail it, probably have to buff it. Uh, then we're going to wrap the roof. It's a big ass roof. I would guess seven, six or seven foot long roof. Um, that is easily, I would say eight or 10 foot off the ground. So it's probably gonna have to kind of hang out of the cab and uh, get in the bed and uh, get on a ladder and all that stuff and try to get this entire roof wrapped. But yeah. Uh, without too much talking, I'll go ahead and show you guys the truck and then we'll uh, we'll get into it. Alright, so I am standing on a ladder to get this shot, but I just wanted to give you guys a look at the roof. We're going to have to trim or pull those lights and that antenna, get those either apart and loosened up or trim around them. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that yet, but then... You know, there's just a nice hard line of the roof there. The molding will kind of be our cutoff point on the top, around the back, uh, or around the front and around the back. So that whole roof there will end up black, gloss black by 3M, along with these pillars here. Um, I'll show you guys what's going on with those here in just a second. But yeah, I got the wide angle on, standing couple foot off the ground on a ladder just to get this thing kind of all in frame and try to get the roof. Try to show you guys just how big this freaking roof is. It just doesn't do it justice. But uh, yeah, this stuff's failing. You know, the rubber has actually started to like twist, which is pretty weird. But it's basically just a it basically just sticks on. It's basically like a rubber type of vinyl. Um, more or less. As you can see over here, it's worse. And I don't really know what would cause it to like twist like this, but as you can see, it's just red under there. It's just paint. This stuff's pretty thin. So these in gloss black on each side. The roof and gloss black along with these wheels and stuff will look pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this thing's pretty dirty. It just looks like he went through some muddy you know, water and whatnot, kind of slung it up into the wheel wells and everything onto the side of the truck. I'm sure these wheels sling pretty bad. Just some muddy water. It's not like actual chunky, chunky mud, but um, you can kind of see here, paint's not in the best shape. He says he washes it a lot, so. Once we get it clean, we're gonna try to do kind of like the same thing I did to the Prius. Try to give it a buff job. Get some of those scratches and everything out, make the paint look a little bit better. But yeah, this thing's got some massive wheels on it. 37 by 13 and a half by 22 is insane. thing is about as wide as my arm is I 
just for reference, like, <laughs> he's got these plates over his uh, calipers. Um, I'll probably try to get in there and graphene coat those as well and just really get the barrels of these wheels graphene coated so that they stay looking nice. But yeah, huge lift kit with like the Fox shocks. These big like trailing arms. I don't know how popular of like a kit this is or whatever, but it looks pretty beefy, pretty expensive, pretty crazy. Got the airbags in the back. Massive fucking exhaust tip. Oh, he's got like the banks cover for the rear. I don't know what the hell this is. But it's just dangling. That's not cool. Danny, if you're watching this, a clip came out of somewhere. I'm not sure where this goes, but I'll make sure it's uh, secured back up. But yeah, here's a better look at just like how much salty crap is on here. Salty, muddy stuff. I think what I'm gonna do is, is with I got some red vinyl. I think I'm gonna make him a nice big Garage 533 banner in red. See if he wants to run it on the back back window there. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the inside too. Look at this. This is like a mix of salt and mud. Like white, salty, muddy water. Show you guys a little of the inside. It is pretty dirty on the inside as well. Um, not like muddy dirty, but there was a bunch of trash in here. And there's just like, you know, it's just dingy. It just hasn't been really well cleaned in a long time. Um, the amount of like dust and dirt and crumbs and stuff that were sitting down in here were pretty crazy. Uh, it's just... It just hasn't been cleaned. But luckily a lot of it stayed on the mats. There was rubber mats in it. So, not too bad, but definitely needs wiped out, definitely needs a vacuum. Definitely gotta clean up all these little cup holders and stuff. Cause these are what were really bad, like that one. It's got a lot of crap in it. So yeah, clean all that up, vacuum everything off. I got all of this stuff out of the interior. Um, but yeah, I gotta get busy because I got a lot of work ahead of me. This thing's dirty and big. So I'll uh, set you guys up on the tripod. I'll put you up on a time lapse. I'm gonna try not to go too crazy with the time lapses just because how much can you watch me just scrub this thing on the outside? Like just the wash alone would probably be a 10 minute time lapse. So I might just key in on some, some specifics, show you guys the foam cannon part, you know, show you guys me cleaning a wheel or two, kind of cleaning this side a little bit and then cut to the rest of it. Um, try not to bore you with too many time lapses. Um, yeah, I'm going to get to work, put the phone down, put you guys on a tripod and uh, pick it up in the next clip. I'll explain where I'm at by the time I'm done. clean like I said it took me about six hours pretty much all day to uh, wash it fully um, 
I think I stopped filming after I washed the wheels and scrubbed the wheels down real good, but then I hit it with another foam, hit it with the foam cannon again. I uh, went ahead, hit it with the synthetic clay, um, hit it with the decon, decontamination spray, let that sit on there. Um, what else did I do? I sprayed off, there's actually like a, a roll a roll out tonneau cover. I cleaned that all off, rolled it back up, sprayed out the bed real good. Um, I even sprayed underneath of it off real good. Got the wheel wells real clean. Um, so yeah, my wash is always pretty, pretty extensive. It's not just a quick bath, you know. I uh, fully sprayed this thing off underneath the wheel wells, wheels, outside, everything. Got the mats clean. Um, like I said, hit it with the foam twice. Hit it with the decon. Got it decontaminated. Hit it with the synthetic clay, clay glove. Um, and then went ahead, dried it off completely. Got as much water out as I possibly can. Um, wiped out the door jams and stuff like that. Uh, blew off, you know, underneath and then, you know, had to squeegee out my floor and everything and It's looking a hell of a lot better It's much much more clean looks really good And we are not stopping here even the underside Is nice and clean got the rear end nice and clean Wheels scrubbed out really, really well. Tires, I had to move it forward to get, you know, the bottom side of the tires real well. Um, hit the exhaust tip really good with the synthetic clay mitt too. Got it cleaned off. So yeah, this thing is smooth now, smooth and clean. Nothing stuck to it, nothing embedded in it. I'll show you guys up here. roof windshield all the glass all the chrome everything the headlights taillights it all got hit with the synthetic clay so it's all nice and smooth now uh, we'll just kind of continue this tomorrow and let it dry out overnight all right we are back at the shop it's a new day truck had all night to uh, dry out everything looks good um, not too many water spots and things to touch up so that's good but uh, we're gonna move on, change directions. The truck's nice and clean now. The interior's, you know, uh, all taken out. Door jams were wiped out. You know, whole outside of the truck, underneath the truck, wheels, everything, it's clean. So, shift gears into the wrapping. So, these four pieces, I guess you could say, that are on each door um, of the pillars, come in a like textured rubbery wrap basically from the factory it's pretty good stuff it's you know I would say a little bit better than wrap honestly than vinyl, than normal vinyl um, you could get something like this to replace it with but uh, what most people do you know is just go with like a gloss black so this is a 3m 2080 series gloss black big old roll here because we're doing the roof as well so I uh, worked on this side I didn't film it or anything but I worked on this side and got this half of it removed um, it left a lot of adhesive behind hopefully we can get that taken care of fairly easily but you just have a, a screw here for the trim um, and that will let this side kind of move around to where you can get the wrap out from underneath of it because as you can see in there you can see how low it goes um, so you know it goes a good you know quarter inch below this trim so you want to get that all the way out and then it also tucks behind this trim here so you want to get it all the way out from inside there you don't want to rip it and then when you go to lay new stuff have pieces of the old stuff stuck in there and then same thing on the inside of here. Um, 
There's actually a screw here for the trim as well. It's just kind of hanging out in there. I need to get it pulled out, but that will also allow this side of the trim to pull out. Um, and then it goes all the way down to this line here. So you would want to, you know, separate this trim like I have it. You know, you want to pull this away so that you can get all the way down and get all the old stuff out. And then again, it wraps around into this trim as well. So on this one, I just started at the top, peeled it all the way on this side and peeled it all the way on this side and then just started working it, working all the way down. For the most part, it came off in like two big pieces. And then I had a little bit of the edges that uh, I had to pick off separately, but that is how you get the old stuff off. I just used a heat gun, nothing crazy. or whatever the hell it's called kind of worked actually it works really well um, it gets the adhesive off the only problem is you end up with like balls of grimy slimy uh, adhesive you know so other than that kind of making a mess it does get the adhesive off so as you can see there you know not too bad it's crazy how much more red those spots are than the rest of the truck. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta clean that up a bunch more. All right, we are cleaned up and ready to go. I hit these things with a clay bar, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Um, I might wipe them down one more time. But other than that, they're ready to wrap. I got both sides cleaned up. I went ahead and heated them up a little bit just to get any remnants of the stuff I was using to clean it off dried up. So I cut a few sheets of vinyl. Um, these are actually, I'll get, I'll get both sides out of one of these. So this is actually thick enough to do both on this side and then the same with that one. And then they have about an inch or two uh, lengthwise extra. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is running some knifeless tape for this line here and then for the inside line.
lined out good. As you saw, I used knifeless tape for the top line and then the inside line on this side. And then on this one, it's just the top because it tucks into trim on each side. So on the backs, just use knifeless tape for the top. On the fronts, use knifeless tape for the top and for the inside. That way you're not actually taking a knife to cut that. And uh, no chance of scratching it. Um, you know, it is somewhat visible when you open the door, so you wouldn't want to scratch it up in there with a knife. So I just ran it. There's like an actual seam in the door here where the panel overlaps. And that's exactly how the factory looked right like that. So that's exactly what I did. And like I said, on this side, you just move the trim, put it back, put your four screws in to hold these edges of the trim in. And uh, the trim will kind of, as it gets warm, will kind of go back to shape. And we've officially made this truck look OEM plus, you could say. Got rid of the textured, rubbery, failing wrap that was on there and replaced it with a nice gloss black by 3M that I think looks better. So now both sides are done and we can move on from the pillars. Other than just wiping them off and graphene coating them when we do the rest of the truck, pillars are all done. Got uh, the carpets and stuff vacuumed out. I got the interior vacuumed out uh, for the most part. The first step of the vacuuming is what I call it, you know, which is just getting the heavy stuff, trying to get the majority of everything. There was a lot of just like debris, grass, debris, stuff like that floating around on the inside and just tried to get it roughly done. So I got the most of it out. Back in the shop, it's a new day. We have been working for a little while now um, and I just haven't picked up the camera, but got the rear tail light out. Got the five lights that are on top along with this pain in the ass. Make the wrap as easy as possible. So what I did with the little plugs, the little bulbs, I pushed them down, I wrapped tape around it, pushed them down in there, and then secured it to the side um, on all five of those so that you don't lose it down in there, but it's also, you know, not sticking up for your vinyl. So I went ahead, cleaned inside all these grooves real well, especially this one. And uh, this big ass groove is ready to wrap. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do with this, since this is such a big piece, pretty uh pretty challenging for me to get up here to wrap it all and having to climb all over this truck and everything and not being able to get you guys the best camera angles <clears throat> for a time lapse and whatnot i think i'm just going to snap my way through it so this is the roof before we wrap and then i'll snap my way through it show you guys the final product And there you go. There's the roof done. Seven foot long blacked out roof. Got it all graphene coated. Got the decal down there. It's looking killer. So these are all good to go. These are all the attachments and little inserts that go in the inside. They're all shined up, ready to go. Um, I got he's these had these little like aftermarket cup holders in his doors. I cleaned those out. Got them ready to go. I would imagine this is just like a, a RAM thing or something, just extra cup holders for the doors. So basically his whole, everything that was in his interior, including all the inserts to everything, are out, organized, cleaned up, shined up, ready to go back in the car and be done. Um, same with the mats. Mats are all good to go. Got those shined up looking nice. And then the inside is ready to go. Uh, like I said, 
it was pretty dirty and before I started working on the rest of the car I wanted to get you know the carpets nice and clean vacuumed out all the uh, little ins and outs of the doors all done um, I got the carpet hit with some Jax Wax fabric guard uh, I got the seats cleaned up really well same thing with all the cup holders and stuff you know inside of here and everything screen and center console and dash and all that wiped down inside of all the little compartments and got the vents nice and cleaned out and then yeah the the fabric guard i got all back here nice and clean the uh the fabric guard on the carpet is probably one of the biggest things that I do um, when I do this. So the floor mats, the carpet, everything underneath the seats and all that gets sprayed down. It's basically like a scotch guard. I actually haven't done these back mats. I did the carpet and didn't do the mat. But yeah, this is basically like a scotch guard from 3M. Uh, just you know different brand just from Jack's Wax basically once they're nice and clean just want to give them some good sprays get it pretty saturated I like to get you know along the pillars and underneath the seats real well um, but yeah just that little bit of spraying you can also get like here Just that little bit of this stuff, just a spray like that. Once it dries, it basically makes it hydrophobic to the point where like water and stuff will just kind of bead off. You kind of want to wipe up any excess. I should probably mention that. Come through, wipe up any excess. Yeah, other than some damage like this that might go away when I hit it with some, some black trim renew. Uh, this thing's good to go. Again, here's a good look at the interior. Done. Clean. I'll probably just put the floor mats and everything back in. Put all the personal belongings back in and just kind of do one more, one last shine up and wipe down just to make sure there's no fingerprints and smudges. And the interior will be good to go. So I'm going to close that up. Close that up for now and uh, start working on the outside of the truck again. All right, so we got this thing buffed out. I didn't record a lot of it. I was just trying to listen to my music and jam out. Got it buffed out, whole truck, every bit of red. Um, I even hit the bumpers and the exhaust tip with a little bit of <coughs> metal polish. And then the wheels, graphene coating, the paint graphene coating, uh, the wrap, I think I'm gonna leave the clear on and do that tomorrow and then I still need to like clean up the windows um, I polished out the steps they came out looking good um, they're not like perfect obviously but they look a hell of a lot better than what they did and uh, yeah it's kind of hard to tell on camera stuff doesn't really come across that well it's looked super clean since I washed it but um, it looks even better now in person so yeah I just need to like go across the windows and get those like really clean um, but yeah check out the exhaust tip this thing's shining you can almost see yourself in it same with the chrome looks good um, wheels same thing with the wheels try to get in all the little nooks and crannies of these spoked spiked uh, aluminum uh, spiked uh, lug nuts and then all these little nooks and crannies of the wheels um, was not easy so a process of graphene on like the lips and stuff with a graphene detail spray for the spokes um, just been using a combo of those two to get this thing coated and uh, that way this stuff stays looking this nice um, for as long as possible but uh, yeah, I still see a couple little spots I need to wipe up, but uh, yeah. 
headlights, grill, all the chrome up front. Uh, hit the headlights with a little bit of polish just to shine those up, and then the grill. Um, the graphene spray works really well for like the mesh parts that you can't really get to very well. And then, like I said, I polished out the grill itself, the chrome itself, and then coated it with graphene as well. Um, I already showed you guys the interior. It's good to go. I need to coat the wrap, clean the windows real well, put all the interior stuff back in, tire shine the tires, and just like kind of shine up the truck. Um, not really shine it up, but just detail it a little bit further and get you know some of this stuff shined up a little bit. Like I said before, the interior shined up a little bit. I did um, end up compounding these uh, rockers here. Um, and then even, actually even like that center section there, um, this truck is feeling hella glossy, hella, hella smooth. So yeah, not a whole big difference video wise. You can't really tell what I've done. I can't really get with my phone. I can't really get the types of um, shots and focus in on the paint like I want to, but we got a hell of a lot of scratches and swirling and stuff out of it. Um, it's not perfect. The customer just wanted kind of like a, a one stage is what I call it, where you just kind of hit it with, you know, hit it with the compound, correct a lot of it, but we're obviously not doing a full paint correction, you know, sanding it down and doing multiple stages of buffing it back out and all that. So it's like, for what he wanted, just a kind of a, a buff compound and then coating, it turned out really well. Um, yeah, I wish my, I wish I had some five thousand dollar camera that I could zoom in and perfectly pick up all the little um, scratches and hazing, and then, you know, have enough battery and juice and uh, storage to film an hour long, two hour long time lapse of me just buffing out the paint, every little section of it, so you could see exactly what it was doing, but I just don't have the storage for it on my phone, and obviously it's just not that, you know, the quality's not there. So it's like, I filmed a little bit of me doing the hood. I don't know if it's gonna make it in, in the video or not, but you know, that's basically the process. I went over it with one pad, um, with the compound and then kind of with another pad with some polish and uh, you get the idea go through the whole truck all the way around doing all that and you have it like it is now where it's not perfect not a full paint correction but buff back out a lot more red a lot more depth and not so many scratches um, like looking down the side of this truck it is pretty damn good Obviously you get up into these spots and the top spots it gets a little bit worse um, But I tried to really concentrate on the hood area and the fender area and then this little section through here and Then this big one right here, so it looks a hell of a lot better than what it did and uh, For the price, you know for the time and the price that the guy's paying it's it's worthwhile um, other places would probably charge what this guy's paying just to do a paint correction. No extras, no interior, no wheels, no wrap, no nothing. Like for what um, for what Danny's paying, he would have got just a paint correction pretty much anywhere else. It would have been a wash, paint correction, polish, and that would have been it. Um, if he wanted graphene or ceramic coating, it would have been extra. The interior, you know. The wrap, all that, like he could have paid probably triple um, at other places. So the price, the quality of what I offer, I always try to come in at that perfect sweet spot, you know, without spending thousands. Um, you can get your truck to really, really look good, really be well protected and have like a major transformation. This thing came in completely dirty, you know, dirty rain kind of stuff slung up on the sides and you know just hadn't been washed in a little while wheels pretty dirty um, wheel wells and all that with a red roof you know pillars that were starting to fail um, and then the interior was actually way worse than i thought it was originally so 
super dirty interior to now having a wrapped roof, wrapped pillars, you know, buffed out paint, ceramic coated paint, ceramic coated wheels, you know, underneath wheel wells, all that stuff sprayed off and cleaned with some of the best products you can buy. Um, interior fully detailed, you know, fabric guarded carpets and shined up everything. So it's like, I try to get that across to customers that that's what I'm trying to offer. That's what my main goal is. You know, that's what I try to focus on. And uh, it's the transformation for a reasonable price. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of talking to say this thing's almost done. It's kind of kicked my ass. It's taken me a solid, I started on Monday. It's taken me like a solid like five days to knock this thing out. Um, no, not a full five days. One day I did. It's taken me about a full. It'll be about five full days when I'm done with it. Um, maybe four and a half days when I'm done with it. So um, that's not bad considering what we've been able to get done. And we're this close to actually being 100% done. I'm going to leave it inside. Let it cure overnight. Um, and until he picks it up, this thing will just be sitting in here, clean, cured, ready to go. All right, this big behemoth is done. I swear the tire shine does so much for it. But yeah, pull this thing out, let it sit in the sun and wait for the owner to come get it. Take some pictures, some afters. We'll be good to go. job well done um, here at the shop super cool to do that one um, just being the fact that it's a humongous red bright um, really customized truck is, is awesome to put my touch on it um, and you can't miss that thing going down the road especially when it's you know that clean so um, vehicles like that you know are pretty easy to remember just because they're so unique and so well done and you know I was given the time I needed by you know really cool customer that made my life easy so um, it's it's a pleasure working with customers when they're like that so Danny thank you again for your business I hope you love your truck um, but yeah with that that's gonna be the end of this video um, if you watched it I want to say thank you uh, consider subscribing Maybe hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of it, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.